has been watching us. Playing a sick game with us. You were right. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. All right, welcome back, everybody. So I think there's some more stuff we can put up here on the case board here. Murder at Cauldron Lake. There we go. So footprints emerging from under the rock. Uh, victim came from... There we go. What? He walked through a boulder. Doesn't make sense. Maybe the boulder fell after he was there? Trail's gone cold. I think he came from the lake. But his tracks make no sense. Too many unknowns doesn't make sense. Asking wrong questions. A uh, dead end, literally. Anything else here? Okay, what's this? Reading the words. These words felt like a message from somebody playing a game with them. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely part of the story. Like, I think it's... I mean, Alan Wake... I mean, Alan Wake's been missing for... I mean, well, you know, he went missing at the end of the first one. He got pulled into the lake, right? And Alan Wake came out in 2010. And it, this game came out in 2023, so 13 years. Kind of matches up with, like, the profile or, like, the death of all... Of, or not the death, but, like, what has happened to all these victims. They were missing for 13 years. So I think it's all, like, intertwined there. So manuscript pages. So that's... What we just found there, um, profiling. So is there more to the profile? Oh, the page, there we go. Page in the woods. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside. The awful truth. You must dig it out. Something was put inside him. In his chest. I must find out what. Uh, so something was put into his chest, so like, after they took his heart out, I assume? So can we... I really want to go down to the lake first, though, right? Like, that's what we should probably do, or can we do that, because that's all scribbled out there. Maybe we can't, because that part of the story isn't written yet. Let's check. Because I would really like to see what's down here. I'm going to go course, check something out. Be right don't back. I think that we can, though. Yeah, because that's that's this area here. Okay, so we can't get down there yet. So this path will probably open up. So we got to go back to the body. If you're stuck or unsure how to proceed, don't forget the mine place. Okay. Yeah, so we got to go back to the body and take a jog with Mr. Man. Here. This one of your hunches, Anderson? Did something happen at the lake? Hey, I think Nightingale came up from Good. that direction. From the lake. Probably looking for shelter. Safety. Yeah, they um... Been waiting for him. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. Okay. It's not that complicated. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night. Possibly nude. The killers knew he was here. Ambushed him. Dragged him to the campgrounds, strapped him to the table, cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. The job is unfinished. That seems pretty complicated to me. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? Haven't figured that part out yet. Mm-hmm. Lots of questions. Lots of answers for us to find. I hope you didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles. Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said. So there's flooding. That's why we can't get through. So, But it said something in his chest, though, right? Maybe? Maybe? Can't talk to you guys. Okay, well. Tab. Figure out what happened to Nightingale. So that's still our, our goal there, obviously. Ooh. Casey's favorite brand. Hey, He's well, terrible. Wild well, Belly. Single pot still. Okay. So, I don't think we've got enough to upgrade anything. No, we don't. We've only got six. We need 12. Okay. 
manuscript pages. Is this where, okay, so that's the manuscript pages. That's where you can find those at. So then you got the case board. Oh, okay. There we go. That popped up there after we did that. Time to properly examine the body. Okay. See what I can find inside. There we go. Now we can look at the body. I learned all I can here. I need to get back to the body. There's more going on here than I'm seeing. I need to examine his body Casey, properly. I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. Uh, okay. Do it. Deputy. I want the body taken. Like we just <laughs> yell it across there. Of course, he's not paying attention. Well, sure, but the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deerfest. Not a problem. I'll do it myself. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got the bookers at the Oh Dear Diner in town. Oh, and I've got a key to the gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. Okay, so that's probably the gate that that's back here that I never I never went through I never even checked it let's get um, the car because I'm an idiot falls and talk to these witnesses the bookers is there anything at here diner, right? I, I could use a cup of coffee. let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned sounds good what is it with like FBI agents and cops always wanting a cup of coffee like I don't know about you guys but I can only like you know okay so uh, there we go I can only have like my one allotment of coffee unless I absolutely need it like in the Seems evening like or something so far Bird too tired decide. pretty I woods. just poop all day cute lodge we got set up in we should go for a hike if we get a chance now you're just being mean Anderson deputies aren't exactly up to the task but hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful not a surprise about the deputies doubt they see much stuff this gruesome so I'm curious as to why they made us walk that other path all the way down there. Like we're literally here to investigate. Like why couldn't they have like I'll be back in a second. Opened that up for us in the first place. But you know, here we are. I guess. Oh, okay. Push the wrong button there. Oh, another, another lunchbox. One of nice. Those lunch boxes. Nice. We're all in this together, hero. Have a heroic day. Got two more fragments there. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and throw that into the Alex Casey lunch boxes here. So this will be up on this one here. So there's still some for us to find. Yeah, there's still a few for us to find. I wonder if I have to find those like before I go back or if I'm assuming we're going to be coming back here because we haven't figured this out yet. So Anyway, we'll figure it out, I guess. Okay. Let us go. Yeah, because there's still that whole section down there where the people wouldn't let us in. And the entire lake area, so... Can't fit the clues all together yet. Heart removed. Tripod. Tracks leading to a dead end. A tripod? For a camera? No. Order. A snuff film? Maybe. And why take out his heart just to throw it away? To stuff in something for us to find. So I wonder if that's the case with all of the victims that had their hearts taken out. Did they just never catch in on that? Cauldron Lake. Okay, well. Okay, so it looks like there's a couple spots up here. I'm just going to look around there. I need to find all of the things. I need to find I everything. I It'll only take a minute. Always here. something. Oh, the rarest wildlife in the Pacific Northwest. I finally made a way to my way to Cauldron Lake. The fence was easy to climb over with the proper gear and skills, which I thankfully possess. Next goal, spotting the rare and elusive orange crowned warbler. A little late in the season, but hopefully I can catch it before it begins its journey south. I've noticed intriguing behavior in the surrounding common bird life. They seem to be alarmed and swarm around the lake. No birds of prey nearby. There are some strange sounds carried on the wind. However, nothing I can recognize or explain. Getting a little concerned, I might have to find another spot somewhere safer. Sounds are getting closer. 
Moved inland. Foliage is stunning. Must come back in fall. Had to stop and sketch this gorgeous vine ma maple. Just a, the way the Methuselah's beard hangs off of it. This is why trees are better than people. Speaking of people, I saw some drunk guy staggering around the forest earlier, acting weird. Maybe drugs? Kept to my distance, so probably should find another spot. So annoying. After I saw that weirdo guy, I decided to change spots again. Moved up to mountain a bit. Found a fantastic overlook at camp to camp at, but I'm more interested in this Alaska onion grass. Invasive, but edible and surprisingly tasty. Started hearing wolves or wild dogs or something like 10 minutes ago, but they sound wrong. Rabies? Want to leave it, but the sun is going down and my stupid phone is dead. Gonna hide in the tent and hope they go away. Something is really not right about this place. Okay. So, somebody was here. I wonder if the person that they're talking about that was stumbling around the woods was uh, Mr. Nightingale. It's possible. Possible, possible. Okay. And there's something up this way, too, I believe. This is a good case so far, don't you think? Cases aren't good or bad, Anderson. They're just cases. Okay, sure. <laughs> but you have to admit, this one is particularly interesting. This is very interesting. I mean, Here we odd. Are. Probably Let's back to town and meet the sheriff at the diner. Probably not many cases you get that, like, you know, somebody's heart was ripped out of their chest and, you know, all of that. Or cut out. Wasn't really ripped out, but. Okay, I'm going to have a look around this area to see if I missed anything. And then we're going to head off to Brett Fowles. Shut up, Thornton. They can still hear you. <laughs> shut up. Shut up. Shut up. For fuck's sake. This cop is absolutely great. All right. Don't one piece, Anderson. Forest can be a dangerous place. Yep, it can be. I can't get that manuscript page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. Need to swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. What are those supposed to be? I don't want to talk to anybody. I want to go see what the hell those things are. <laughs> Please let me. All right. The diner's just up the waterfront. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. Hey there. So, hi. Okay. What the? Just how much coffee have you had today, Charlie? Oh, it's a coffee. <laughs> Don't know, don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a hug? How much Can I have a hug? Have? Not enough. That's how much. Never I can't take a coffee? This is ridiculous. Okay. Not to toot my own horn, but I am pretty darn sure my... <laughs> I mean, our float will be the bell of the ball at this year's Deer Fest. Just a few more days. It's a nice looking float for sure. This is my first deer fest, so I don't Got know what to expect. Plans for the day after. It is the Why are you just overlapping? Gosh, okay. Happiest day of the year. Oh dear. Like Christmas. Oh dear diner. Man, they love their deer around here. The FBI. Welcome to Bright Falls. Yep. It's nice to have you here. I got you both some coffee. 
Oh, it's Washington's finest. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. <laughs> I like Agent blowing Alex out Casey. my butthole every day when I drink her coffee. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. Your deputies said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no, the bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. Yeah, Casey, get out of here. Go take some notes. Hello, where's the people eating? Still feel like I'm gonna be sick. Come on, Ed. Oh, there they are. Okay. I'll take your mind off things. Excuse me. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the Bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy, and he's Ed. Hello, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So, are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, screw into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging <laughs> you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? What were you doing at Colgen late last night? I'm a writer. True crime. We're here from New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. I was down at the lake, getting some details. Perfectly legal. So what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake, and he was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. <laughs> then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of satanic cult. And then we bolted and called the cops. Okay. So they actually what saw did you like say it was a cult. Obviously they saw what was going on. The masks on. and knives aren't enough. Yeah. They were shouting cult of the tree. The cult of the tree. Cult of the tree. <laughs> oh. Then we found a This dude is like thing was It's going crazy. That's all. Interesting. So what was that? Okay. All right, let's go into our mind place real quick. Cult of the, the, cult tree. Of the tree. What are the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree back, Tammy. Finder's keeper is Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. How could she know that? The bookers were at Cauldron Lake. Obviously. Why? The prince was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. Past the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Nothing to do with the murder. They were telling the truth. Okay. So they were, obviously they were telling the truth. I mean, I assume that, crap, hold on. Wanted to check this over here. Um, I assume that what we saw at the beginning is what really happened and not um, not just like a uh, hallucination or anything. Okay, so the book the bookers described multiple attackers wearing deer masks, chanting and tearing into the guy with knives. So we'll put that there. We're dealing with an organized group of killers, okay. not a lone serial killer. Okay, and then we've got this. The cult of the tree is behind these murders. This case just became much more complicated. Yeah, because it's not just one Wanted single person. But it's my first cult case. Exciting. Okay. So cult of the tree. Background crisis accumulate clues about broader ongoing topics. Okay, cool. That's okay. I need to know more I like about that. the code of the tree if I'm going to shut them down. Well, it doesn't like get convoluted around one singular um, case. Okay, so 
what kind of cults. Let's see. Who's involved? Cult goal. So I assume this would come up here. Yeah. Cult psychology. If they're hiding their faces, they aren't established enough to operate openly. Connection to Deerfest? Maybe. So it doesn't go there. Yes, there we go. This is a lot of equipment just laying around. How long have they been out here? Okay, so... There we go. Cult symbols. What's the purpose? Marking territory? A warning feels derivative, like something out of a horror movie. Okay. So that's all for the cult of the tree. Then we've got cult, cult stashes. Okay, so that's... Their stash. Gotcha. We stole it. Cult. <laughs> Better keep an eye out for more. Okay. Boy, there's so much. So here's one that we found up there. A locked box full of cult supplies, some useful things in here. Okay. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. Okay. Okay. Yeah, how did she how know that? Need to keep that thing to me? Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. <laughs> like we'd even dream of missing dear Oh, God. Saga! Saga Anderson, as I live and breathe. Who is this? I thought we'd never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. How are you? Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. I don't think I do. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She drowned. Your daughter. That's so weird, you don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. No. You're mistaking me for someone else. <laughs> if you say so. So, how would she have known her name? I mean, that's the name is obviously associated with... <laughs> look at the moose in there. That's too funny. But the name is obviously associated with... Um, with what had happened, unless she's crazy or we just don't remember, or this whole story is a being written as we're going. Something like that, maybe. Cult symbols. Jewelry can be used as a subtle indicator of membership, but this isn't suitable. A badge of pride. Wait. Does she have one on? Did we? She doesn't. Okay. I need to talk to her more, so, though. Rose, help me out. How do you think we know each other? We all know each other around here. It's been a while, but I never forget a face. Or a coffee order. Guess I just have one of those faces. Seen anything strange around town? Seen anything town? out of the ordinary in town lately? Suspicious people in deer masks? No one's suspicious. But soon enough, there'll be lots of happy people wearing deer masks for deer fest. Practically everyone will be wearing one. Good to know. That's not going to make it any easier. Now I'm looking around for people who might be wearing these triangles. How can you be so calm? Corpse is a part of the job. Can't dwell on it too much. Uh, not seeing anything out of the ordinary. A cult murdering a man is pretty extreme. Why didn't you tell the police what you saw? We did. We told those two idiot deputies. They didn't listen. And they <laughs> oh, that makes sense. They had nine jail for that murder. You know, Bright Falls is just Alabama with bigger trees. 
This is my case now, and no one is throwing you in jail. If you need anything else, just come to me. Got it. All right. Thank you, Saga. Okay. All right, let's go. All set. Okay. My guys have Nightingale at the morgue if you're ready to go take a look. Let's go. All right. Well, Casey, I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. A murder cult. Fuck. <laughs> have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. <laughs> if you're in the woods at night, the cult will Just get how he sort of said thing. that. So good. <laughs> you're the grand wizard or something, are we? I played some D&D back in the day. Wizard <laughs> was always my favorite class. Morning, Sheriff! Looks like you have some guests. Ah, morning, Ted. Yeah, real important guests. Deerfest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff. Why did he just glare at me like that? Like, he did not... Like, that was not a good look. Waitress from the diner. <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. She always has been. Why? What'd she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible, but it's best not to take it personally. So she's a little strange, but I wonder if that's because of hey, what Corpus is going on around here. Go. Yep, in the morgue, all prep. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Lead the way, Sheriff. Okay, I'm gonna go into here real quick. Okay, so we got the Bright Falls map now. Okay. Cool. So we had been to the diner. We came up here, around and down here. So there's the Palace Lodge. That's where we parked. It's a whole big area. Okay. Cool. I'll be right with you, sir. Yep, yep. Just here to pay my ticket. Whenever you're ready to take my money. <laughs> so realistic. Why are you shoving me through the door? Why? <laughs> Jerk. Oh, there we go. Meeting happening here, I see. Sir? Some patience, please. <laughs> well, what is this? Kill the Joe, make some mo. This is the third time this week I've come in for late shift. There's no coffee in the machine. You take the last cup, you brew a new batch. Well, Chet, I hate to break it to you, but you need to have a face capable of growing a beard to make effective use of beer oil. <laughs> These are great. I knew Margo's beard was too soft to be natural. What brand is he using, Lucy? Since my numerous friendly reminders about not having personal packages delivered to the station have gone unheeded, from here on out, if you've seen fit to send something to the station, I will see fit to announce to the station what you have received. It's a federal offense to open someone's mail, question mark. I can't actually, like, see what... Wait, can I just... No. Okay. It's a personal offense that I need... To share my desk space with you late night impulse buys? Yes, it is. You have been warned. Admin. Officer Lightfoot, your beard oil is ready for pickup. <laughs> the front desk computer and admin email are not to be used for personal quarrels or, or other unofficial business. And remember to wash your coffee mugs, admin. Uh, third annual community outreach barbecue. The annual event you've all been eagerly waiting is upon us. The community outreach barbecue. Now, I don't want to hear any grumbling. This is a valuable opportunity to connect with the community. Statistics show that officers who are... I really wish I could see the rest of that. Hear any grumblings? Officers who are well integrated with the communities they serve see lower instances of violent crime in their precincts are more effective in their policing and have overall better mental wellness. This is for your benefit, so take it seriously. The community voted dunk tank victim is... This year will be, drumroll please, Deputy Thornton. Congratulations. Look like everyone... Everyone's getting retribution for that speed trap on 12C at last. A, a friendly reminder that anyone out sick on the day needs to provide a written doctor's note or you'll be assigned night shift for two weeks. Anyone who replies all to complain about their assignment will be volunteering as the assistant for Officer Lightfoot's magic routine. Interesting. <laughs> Some of those emails were great. Okay, where the hell am I supposed to go? Oh, the, over there probably. I'm gonna look around here. Agent. Hi. 
I'm just uh, making sure that everything's kosher in here. You know, just need a little bit of ammo from my pockets. The investigation is being taken over by the federal agents. Sheriff yes, it is. Baker wants us to cooperate fully. I'm going to stand right in your way while you're talking to him. Yeah, yeah. Cooperate. Cooperate. Both of you. Okay. Oh, dear. I am a tourist, and it appears that I'm lost in the woods. <laughs> only had a tour guide also. Bear season. <laughs> oh, no. A bear. Help. <laughs> Did somebody call for a tour guide? Oh, wow. Koskala Brothers Adventure Tours. Unforgettable tour experiences at affordable prices. That's right. I'm Il Mokoskala, voted best coffee roaster slash tour guide by Coffee World Magazine. And I'm here to give you the tour of a lifetime. But Ilmo, I've heard the government has seized and restricted access to many local nature attractions. That is true, Yanko. Many local attractions have recently become fenced off by the government. And that's why at Koskala Brothers Adventure Tours, we say, fuck the government. <laughs> We have both cutters. Oh, wow. <laughs> you think of everything. And we'll take you anywhere. <laughs> Hiking through the scenic Elderwood National Park. Fishing in the crystal clear waters of Bright Falls Dam. Bird watching at Majestic Mirror Peak. <laughs> a tour of a lifetime is just one phone call away. Book now to get a 9% discount on this limited edition Old Beer Diner Coffee Thermos. <laughs> that was great. Oh, geez. Okay. I got to, I've got to look around for more stuff now. Is this the pooper? It's been a while. It's not the pooper, but we can make it the pooper. Okay. Have a nice day. You too. Holding cells. Hello. How are you, sir? I'm an innocent man. You don't look innocent. You look like a barber that slashed somebody's throat. I swear I didn't do anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're a lying bunch of bastards. Sure they are. It won't open. Okay. There's the pooper. Uh, sir? 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 Excuse me. Excuse me, sir, I have to poop. Could you please leave? I don't think you're gonna get that mirror any cleaner. You should probably work on the sink. It's pretty, pretty dirty. Anyway. I know one of you is stealing the toilet paper. It's been I've been counting them and there's an entire roll missing every day from stock. Theft is taken seriously around here. It's a sheriff station for Pete's sake. One of these days I'm gonna catch you red handed and you better believe you're getting thrown out. What a disgrace you are. What kind of nut counts toilet paper rolls? Sounds like you got too much time on your hands. That's pretty funny. Alright, I guess there's no pooping loud around here. Can I close the door? Leave you to it there, buddy. Okay. You look way too young to be a... Oh, it's... A, okay. That, that looked like a 13-year-old boy. So we share a morgue with the funeral home next door. It's a shoestring budget. I guess you guys don't have that problem, though. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns, and he's away this week. But you can handle this, right? I'm qualified to perform examinations. Yes. Pull that out, you know. There's very little light down here. It's in here. <laughs> <laughs> Something about morgues. They always cheer me up. I can't say I feel the same. I'm just gonna take all their stuff, you know? Batteries for days? Bullets? No, oh, yeah, obviously those won't uh, unlock anything, right? This reminds me, <laughs> whenever I go to, um... I go up to Scranton, 
when we were staying at the studio to use the bathroom at night because the bathroom in there was broken. We had to use one of these like underground things in between two buildings uh, to get to the other building to, uh, to use the bathroom. That's what it reminds me of. Nothing in there. Don't worry, I'm just looking around for some toilet paper. Heard somebody's been stealing it, making sure it's not in anybody's locker. Why did you just open up? Okay. Hi. What's in here? I can't get through this. Okay. Made it to progress. Okay. Let's take a look at our patient. I'll start with the external inspection before performing the internal examination. I don't want to look at his naked body anymore. What was the cause of death? What other clues can the body give me? I mean, the cause of death was probably the knife in the chest. They did leave something inside his chest. Okay. Defensive wounds. He put up a fight. And he did. This looks like text. A Doesn't tattoo? Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. The body shows signs of being submerged in water post-mortem. It's so weird it because up. he was in the water beforehand, but his body shows signs that he was submerged after death. There's writing on here. Writing on the heart? Can't make it out. Writing. Oh. Damn, I missed the rest of that. Okay. So, cases. Time to see what Nightingale's body can tell us. <clears throat> Anything to learn from the body? Nope, nope, nope. Ritual writing. Did the killers write on the heart? How? I can't make out what it says. Cause of death. Bloating from joints indicates long-term water exposure. Victim was alive when strapped down. Timeline is inconsistent with bloating. So he was submerged in the water for so long, but he came up out. So there's something diff there's something weird going on here to where he had, what had happened to bring him up out of the water. Like he had been under there for a while, but that's, that's so weird. <clears throat> Text is smudged, looks inverted. Heart can't have been marked before removal. Yeah, the heart can't... Interesting. Nightingale put up, Nightingale put up a fight before they restrained him. There's something visible inside. Something in his chest. Let's just Did pull it out then! It there? Okay, what is this map? Oh, it's because we're... okay. There we go. Why aren't you wearing gloves? That's disgusting. Same type of page we found at Colgen Lake. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was, killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. Oh, you're just now telling us? Relevant to this case. She could have, you know. I have them right here. Told us beforehand, maybe. You know, you idiot. I think he's involved. This cop is definitely involved. I don't like the way he looked at us. No, 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 wait.
and seer could not see into bright light. 